Kung Fu, known to us all as a type of martial art, is originally a term that means something different. Kung Fu or Gong Fu basically refers to a skill that has been developed through hard work and extensive training. The literal translation is as follows. Gong means work or achievement and Fu means man, so it's the achievement of man. Another translation is work and effort. So basically, Gong Fu represents the idea of something that's been accomplished through great effort over a period of time. It wasn't until the later half of the 1900s that the term Kung Fu was used in relation to Chinese martial arts. Before then, it was only used to refer to the process of one's training and improvement of skill, whatever it was that was being trained. This meaning of Gong Fu can be traced back to Confucian writings, where they use the term when talking about the importance of effort in education. But one can use the term for any skill that's being trained or mastered, whether it's martial arts, cooking, brewing tea, or, well, calligraphy. A person who doesn't possess a level of mastery in whatever the craft or skill simply doesn't have Gong Fu. This guy obviously has Gong Fu. Interestingly, it is said that if your Tai Chi is good, then so is your calligraphy, and vice versa. This is because Tai Chi and sh calligraphy share the same principles. In both good Tai Chi and good calligraphy, you move from your center of gravity, known as the Dantian, the center of energy that is located just below the navel. The Dantian translates as elixir field, and this area is now also known to have so many nerve cells that scientists have nicknamed it the second brain, which influences mood and well-being. Tai Chi teaches us how to cultivate and strengthen this area to the level that the energy or movement from the Dantian is expressed in the rest of the body, the arms, legs, hands and feet. To be able to do this well requires your body to be relaxed and very connected, of course. And to get to this level of connection and somatic awareness, well, it takes time and practice. In other words, it takes a certain level of Gong Fu. As the great Japanese swordsman Miyamoto Musashi said, a thousand days of training to develop, ten thousand days of training to polish. This gives you an idea of the effort required to achieve Gong Fu. So whatever it is that you train, may you find the inspiration, time and effort to strive towards Gong Fu.